everyone, my name is Gabby and today I'm going to be bringing you my November Owl Crate unboxing. This month's theme is castles, forts, and kingdoms, and it is one year of me doing Owl Crate unboxings on my channel. I received an Owl Crate subscription for my birthday last year with the November 2016 Owl Crate box, which was Alice in Wonderland themed. I absolutely love that box. I had so much fun opening it for all of you. I cannot believe how fast the year has gone by and over the past year I have absolutely fallen in love with Owl Crate and their amazing boxes time and time again. Again, this is a one book subscription service that I really love because Owl Crate puts their heart and soul into their boxes. They include so many unique items in each and every single one of their boxes and put so much work and effort into putting them together. So if you want to get an Owl Crate subscription for yourself, all the details are in the link down below. I'm really excited to open this November box for you. So we're going to dive right in and see all the goodies that are inside this month. So the first item that we have here is the beautiful Owl Crate spoiler card for their November box. We have this castle and if that's a sun or a full moon. I'm not sure, but I love the coloring on this. I love like the mixture of the purple and the blue and the white and sort of like the misty kind of look that it gives the design or sort of like a snowy type look. I just love the feel because it feels very eerie and I just love the design so much. Owl Crate puts so much work and effort into designing their spoiler cards each month and I always want to take time to highlight them on my channel just because I think that they're incredibly unique and the artists that put them together are incredibly phenomenal and I always like to highlight their work. Just just look at this beautiful spoiler card. I absolutely love the design of this. It's so very simplistic, but I love the coloring. It's something that I just really appreciate and I want to be able to show you guys just because I think it's such a nice touch to the box. So the first item that we have here is made by Owl Crate exclusively for the box and it is a Expecto Patronum beanie, which is inspired by Harry Potter. I love this because it has the feel of an ugly Christmas sweater and there's like the little puff ball at the top and it's black and white. It will be very neutral in color since it is black and white and you can pretty much wear it with whatever and it's really cute because anyone who's a Harry Potter fan will immediately get the reference and you have the lightning bolts on it and it just looks like the like perfect ugly Christmas sweater pattern and it's really soft and I think it's to be the perfect thing to keep you warm during the winter months. I love this being a Chicagoan winters are freezing cold here especially in the late December January it gets to be freezing outside so you're constantly wearing hats and gloves and scarves and winter jackets and bundling up for like months and months on end so I am going to use this I love just wearing hats in general so you want to know what I'm gonna put this on for the rest of the video because it's adorable so I want to give you a little bit of a better look at the hat I love the stitching on this it's just so well made and I love the little puff ball here and the design with all the lightning bolts it's just the perfect ugly Christmas sweater design and it's so adorable and I'm so excited to get to wear it look at this it fits perfectly I'm absolutely obsessed thank you so much Owl Crate for this I am so excited to get to wear it I've always wanted Owl Crate to include a beanie in one of their boxes and they finally did it and I'm so hype about it. The next item in the box comes in this adorable little package and there's like black confetti inside and this really nice sticker on the bottom of the package but it's from Fizzy Fairy Apothecary and it is Elven Bread Soap made exclusively for Owl Crate. Uh, the scent is described as being a bright and refreshing combination of Moroccan mint, garden cucumber, juicy clementine, xylem and blossoms, lily and cactus and this is absolutely beautifully made. It has this really nice mint green color which is one of my favorite colors and you can see these leaves that are designed on the soap that look so intricately made and I'm just wowed by this it's such a simplistic item but the fact that somebody had to take the time to like make each of these leaves and like fold it over and make it look as nice as it does is something that I really appreciate and it came in like this really nice box and I think the scent is going to be very nice because it's not going to be like too overwhelming or too fruity it's going to be nice and fresh which is one of the things that I like and also with with Owl Crate, every single bath product that I've gotten from them that I've used, I've never had any issues with being someone that has sensitive skin. That's always a big worry for me, so I feel like Owl Crate does take the time to make that a concern of theirs because they're not going to want to include items that some users can't be able to use because they have sensitive skin or for whatever reason just like may not be able to use it because of allergies. I'm excited for this. I love Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. The last item that I believe that we got from them was the Divergent Bath Bomb, and I absolutely loved that. I thought it was so cool, so I'm really excited to get to use this. I want to open the packaging and let you guys know what it smells like, but I don't want to open it until I use it. So for now, I'm going to leave it in the packaging, but I just absolutely love this, and it's such a cool item to add to the box, and I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. Look at how beautifully this is made. You can see that there's like a leaf that's folded over here, and then like one in the bottom, and another one that's folded over here, and you have to make like each one of these and put it together, and the pattern is just so cool, and I love the color of it. I know that my camera isn't focusing because it's just being really irritating at the moment, but you can see the 
the design hopefully well enough and then you have the sticker on the back that tells you all the ingredients and everything now that it's focusing. I just love this design so much. It's so beautifully made and I'm so excited to get to use this. Thank you so much Fizzy Fairy Apothecary and Owl Crate for this amazing exclusive collaboration. I am so so pumped to get to use this soap as I've been with all of the past Owl Crate bath products that I've gotten in previous boxes. So the next item in here is from Stella's Bookish Art and it is a notebook inspired by a quote of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. There's a quote from the book on the front and it says don't let the hard days win. I love that quote. I just think that it's really beautiful and really inspirational because maybe when you're going through a tough time you just want to sort of give in and it's pushing forward and just letting yourself keep going that really allows you to feel better in the end because you can sort of see that yeah you may have had those hard days but in the end you were better off than you were before and you didn't let those days beat you down and for me somebody who goes through depression who's been going through a lot of difficult stuff recently this quote just really means a lot to me so I'm really excited to get to have it on a notebook you can always use notebooks I feel like as a booktuber because you're constantly writing maybe ideas down for videos or planning things out or if you do interviews it's a good way to write down questions that you may have to prepare for in it or write down notes if you're gonna be doing a book review so notebooks are always incredibly helpful to booktubers and book reviewers so I'm really excited to get to use this I love the design of it too it has like this really nice purpley design there's berries and animals on it and the notebook itself also is really nicely made and the fact that it seems like all the pages are gonna tear nicely and there's a good quantity of them so it doesn't seem like the notebook will get too beat up too easily so I love this and I'm excited to get to use it and the beautiful design of course makes me all the more excited to get to put some words inside of it just look at this design I love the purple and how it sort of matches with like the color theme that we have going on with the card and there's the berries at the bottom here and like some birds birds and wildlife and some like ink smudges and then you have the quote and the beautiful font. I am obsessed with fonts and I think the more that I get book subscription services the more that I start to appreciate them because you have so many different items that have these beautiful text fonts on them so I always enjoy looking at them and seeing all the different fonts that are used and how they just really add to the overall design of the item that you're getting. I love this notebook. I'm so excited to get to use it so thank you so much Owl Crate and Stella's Bookish Art for this amazing item. This item included in the box is from Juniper and and Ivy Designs, and it is a brooch inspired by the Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So there were several different designs that were put in the box that reflect each one of the, I want to say factions, but that's not the right word, but each of the different groups within the Grisha Trilogy. So I got the brooch that was for Heart Renderers, or Corporal Key. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing those names right at all. Whenever I went to read the Grisha Trilogy, I would always like skip over the words or like make up some pronunciation in my mind and just sort of like let it pass over because if I had to actually tell you what the pronunciation was I would not know and so I never really like to talk about the Grisha trilogy or like get into specifics with like the different groups of people because if I have to pronounce the names I'm worried I'm gonna pronounce them wrong and look like an idiot but this is the brooch that I got and it's magnetic so you take the magnet off that's on the bottom here and then you have the brooch which just has like the strip of magnet on the back and then there's a quote from Lee Bardugo on the back of the card that the brooch was on it says when people say impossible they usually mean improbable and you have this really cool design on the back that's like purpley and has like a castle in the back and you have like the gray text and the really pretty font that's on the card so this is what my brooch looks like you can see the heart here that's for the heart renderers and then the corporal key inscription which is here and the heart renderers title up front I love this because it's relatively simple but it's a nice enough item to have that it's not too big or too obtrusive and it's just a really cool item to have I really feel like you don't get a lot of like brooches in book subscription services just because it's a little bit of an odd item to have but I think this is really cool I love the Grisha trilogy and I feel like you don't see a lot of swag for them in book boxes so it's nice to get to see different fandoms included in book boxes rather than the same fandoms over and over and over again so I appreciated getting a little bit of a unique item in the box there were three different designs that were included in this month's box so if you guys got Owl Crate and you want to let me know what design you got I would love to know I have no idea if my camera is focusing it's being really annoying at the moment anyway I love this design and I'm really excited to get to use it. So thank you so much Juniper and Ivy Designs and Owl Crate for this amazing collaboration. I'm sorry if my camera is not focusing to allow you to get to see it to the best of your capabilities. <laughs> and really quickly here is the card that the brooch was attached to with the magnet and I know my camera keeps focusing and then not focusing but you can see the quote here in the gray text and then like the castle in the back and the purple design. This is what the front looked like. So the last item included in the box before we get to the book is from Geek Fire Labs and it is lip gloss that is inspired by Game of Thrones.
Thrones and is entitled Winter is Here. It is blackberry mint flavored and it is an Owl Crate exclusive. The ingredients are soybean oil, beeswax, sunflower oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, aloe vera, and flavor. So one of the things that I like automatically just looking at this is seeing that all the ingredients are things that I know and recognize when you get something that is cosmetic or like soaps or other items that you would apply to your body, you want to be able to have an item that has ingredients that you recognize because when there's lots of chemicals or really odd things that you don't know, that sort of makes you question why do I want to put this on my body if I don't even know what's in it. So I like seeing that this is relatively all natural and it has a whole bunch of ingredients that I would recognize right off the bat. And the one thing that I like about this being Game of Thrones inspired is that I don't watch Game of Thrones because I'm just super behind in the times and now that the show is already so far gone as it is, I'm not going to have any time at all to bother to catch up. With this being Game of Thrones inspired, it's not like I need to watch the show to appreciate it. And I can just get use of this lip gloss regardless of whether I've seen the show or not. So I like that because sometimes when there are items that are included in a box that are for a specific fandom, you would like to be able to be in the fandom or have read the book or like watch a show or whatever to be able to get appreciation out of it. So this is nice because I don't really have to necessarily do that. So I'm going to give this a sniff and maybe put it on because I don't have anything on my lips at the moment. Oh, you can definitely smell the blackberry, but you can smell the mint too. It's a very nice balance of both. It smells really good. I remember the last item that we got from Geek Fire Labs was like a donut scented lip balm which was really interesting and I remember putting it on my lips and just feeling like I had just bit into a donut and had like that waxy glaze coating on my lips. So I'm excited to put this on. Hopefully my lips will feel refreshed. Yeah it's definitely very minty but my lips feel so much softer. I love this. I think it's a really great item because everyone can get used on a lip balm especially in the winter months when your lips get so incredibly chapped. So I am really excited to get to use this. I love the label on this too, just because it perfectly matches just the color aesthetic that we have going on in the Owl Crate box. We have these like purples and mints and blues and everything just looks so nice together. So here is the label. You can see the creature that is on the front and then the text and the colors and how it sort of matches the spoiler card. I just take so much appreciation into the little tiny details that are put into the box that of course I wanted to show you the label, but I love this lip balm. It smells amazing. It feels great on my lips and I'm so excited to get more use out of it. So finally we get to our Owl Crate book of the month for their November box which is The Glass Bear by Lauren De Stefano. I've been seeing this book everywhere and everyone has been talking about it but I had absolutely no idea what it was about. Looking at the letter from the author that was included in the box along with some temporary tattoos that have to do with the book and the signed book plate. So the letter from the author says this is the story of Will, a princess with a complicated life. Her brother Owen was the heir, her brother Baron was wicked, her brother Gertie was a genius, and Will, Will always knew she had a wanderer's heart. What she didn't know was that her heart was also cursed. And then you have this like beautiful drawing and things that is going on here. So that sounds incredibly interesting. Reading the inside cover, what you find out is that her touch turns people into gemstone and she finds that out when she's attacked one night. And so basically her, the story is her finding out about her power and understanding what happened to her and why it happened and her coming into contact with a cursed prince and having to live in a kingdom that is on the brink of war. So there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this book. I'm really excited to get to dive into it and give it a read. It sounds absolutely amazing just as all of the Owl Crate books in the past have but this one definitely sounds right up my alley at the moment with it being winter. This is like the perfect book to include so I'm really excited to get to dive in and pick it up and even looking at the back you have blurbs from Elaine Taylor, Renee Adier, Beth Revis, and Tracy Chi who are authors that I incredibly put my faith into when it comes to picking up books to read. So this book has caught my attention so many different times and I finally have it in my hands with this beautiful Owl Crate exclusive cover so I'm so excited to give it a read and I'm really excited to have these tattoos just because it's something different that you don't normally get when you pick up a book and just having all the wonderful items that are included with it. This is an amazing box and I'm just just so happy with all the items that were included inside of it. So then, of course, finally, we have the little Owl Crate pamphlet that is sort of a summary of everything that went into the box. There's the author interview with Lauren De Stefano. There's the cover changes. There's the word search and the recommendations for other books if you like The Glass Fair. There's the interview with one of the creators of Fizzy Fairy Apothecary and the list for the photo challenge and the date for the Owl Babble. And then there's the reveal of the December theme, which is Seize the Day. Immediate look at that. 
I see a Newsies reference and I am freaking out because you guys know how much I have adored Newsies, especially over these past few months. So I am so, so, so excited. And I hope this box includes a Newsies item. It has to, even though I know it's not book related. If you're going to name the box Seize the Day, you must include something Newsies or at least have Newsies on the spoiler card. God, I'm so excited. So reading the description, it says, as the year draws to a close, we wanted to carry a box to help inspire you to make 2018 your best year yet. Our December box is filled with fantastic items to help you get a jump start on your reading goals. Step outside your comfort zone and take some adventurous risks. Our book pick is a funny and adorable contemporary story all about finding friendship in unexpected places, accomplishing things you never thought possible, and surprising yourself. This book will also come with an exclusive cover, signed book plate, and letter from the author. This box is full of fun and useful goodies inspired by stories such as Perks of Being a Wallflower, Harry Potter, Everything Everything, The Serpent King, and many more. We're also thrilled to be teaming up with the fabulous Bookworm Boutique, who has designed an exclusive item that you'll love using every day. So this box sounds amazing. From what I've seen from Alcrete social media and what they've been posting, the book is also theater related, which I love because you know that if I can get my hands on a book that has to do with theater, I will immediately go grabbing for it. So I'm incredibly excited for this December box. I bet it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to get my hands on it and hopefully it'll be my favorite box yet. So that's pretty much it for my November Alcrete unboxing. This month's box was absolutely amazing. I do have to say my favorite item is probably the beanie just because I love wearing beanies and this one fits my head perfectly. It's beautifully designed. I'm also really excited about like the soap and the lip balm and the book. I'm just like looking at my bed and all the items that I have on it and I'm just really overwhelmed. I'm super pumped for the December box. I love the theme name, Seize the Day. Ugh, just all the Newsies reference. It makes me so hyped to see what is included in that box. I know it's going to be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to comment down below your favorite item in the Owl Crate box, let me know. But I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video. Goodbye!